Welcome to Profile Pod TV on the Social Nostra Network. I'm your host, Double A, and I'm excited to be here. This is a very special occasion, very special episode tonight. Not because of our, not only because of our, our awesome guest, but this is a, a milestone tonight because Double A and Profile Pod TV is now part of the Social Nostra Network, and this is the debut episode on the new network. Social Nostra, so we're really excited about this. This is going to be awesome, a very fruitful, very prosperous um, uh, partnership, you know? So I, I, I am like ecstatic right now. I'm speechless right now. I can't even think straight. I can't speak properly. Uh, so this is, um, yeah, what a monumental time for, for, for me. And so I'm really proud of the, this moment, very proud of, um, you know, being on, being, uh, you know, coming on the platform. I'm humbled. And uh, anytime someone recognizes you, you know, for the, your content and your your abilities, it's, it's a very humbling and amazing feeling. And I can't tell you how, what this means to me. So um, I'm really, you know, I can go on forever. So, uh, but yes, this is the debut episode. I'm very excited. And this is, uh, like I said, man, it, I, I can't even um, tell you in words how what this means. So tonight's guest is a model. She has her own modeling agency called Platinum Peach Talent. She's a recording artist. Um, she just told me earlier that she she thinks she got a hit. She recorded a hit tonight, which is great to hear. She'll be releasing an EP in the near future. Um, she runs a, a mentorship uh, program twice a month. Uh, she runs her own dog grooming business, and she auditioned for the show Survivor. <sighs> oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> is there anything you don't do? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to Profile Pod TV tonight here with Double A Peach out of Cincinnati, Ohio. How are you? I'm good. How are you? No, no, I'm great. I'm good. Thank you so much for taking the time here. I realize it's a little later, and you're you're part of the country. And uh, th- thank you so much for taking the time. I and I know we were trying to get this going a couple of days ago. I apologize, uh, but Mother Nature had to do her thing. But you know, I want to talk to to you about Survivor. Oh right? yeah. Um, your experience with that, I know you auditioned, uh, back in, was it 2019? Of course, the one year I made probably my best audition video I've ever made, (laughs) um, and submitted it, you know, they canceled all the shows and and casting and stuff. So now they're really backed up on casting probably. So I don't know when the next season is going to be, I don't know when they're going to begin casting for it, but I submitted my video in August, uh, and, and, and I haven't heard back yet, but I'm going to continue to to try to get on. And in the meantime, I, I do the live reality games uh, through YouTube and Facebook. They're smaller versions of reality shows that we are just a community of people will put on uh, who are fans of other reality shows. And you create a, create a fan base through that. Oh, OK. OK. And talk, talk to us about the what is the Phoenix uh, the nickname? Is that what your name is in, uh, in the show? Um, no, it it was just a name that I or a theme in my life at that time, basically, just when I had left my abusive husband and was just refining who I was and what I wanted to do in life. And just I just really resonated with the Phoenix metaphor of, you know, rising from your ashes and being reborn. That was just a big theme in my life at that time. And well, it I mean, just continues to be a theme in my life but even then I was really feeling empowered by it and I um did a photo shoot about it uh and I just I kind of like to name my years one year before that was like year of the peach and then that year for me was year of the phoenix and that's just kind of how I keep my my drive and force going <laughs> gotcha okay now I get it I, now but I when watching that uh, interview uh, or that um you know the well i guess it was audition. The, the, the audition the video yeah on on youtube uh you were pretty uh forthright and and uh, a lot of personal stuff that you kind of divulged during the um audition um yeah i, I, I thought that was interesting um and you seemed very comfortable and with yourself and but I, was that kind of an emotional experience for you as well yeah through yeah. that audition yeah, it, I've always been very open about my life, whether it's a good or bad. Um, it it kind of just was something that started when I left, when I moved away. Um, I mean, I met my husband. I, I got married at 18 and moved away. So I, when I moved away, I used social media. 
media to really keep in touch with all of my family and friends um, and living away from home for eight years. So that's, so I really kind of just put everything out there instead of having to, you know, call everybody, single person, like, hey, this is what's going on in my life right now. And people just kind of really started to follow along and, and, I, and they went through my, all my journey with me. You know, I had two miscarriages or, you know, I was divorcing my husband or, you know, and I kind of just put it all out there. So I've, these people have really gone along with it with me. <laughs> mm, yeah. Yeah. No, I, yeah, it was, it, like I said, you know, it was, it was, it was interesting uh, to see, you know, um, yeah, how forthright you were. So, uh, but I'm good for you. I mean, at all, you know, I mean, I, I just, that's one thing about social media, you know, or putting on a front for some things, but like, I'm not ashamed of the trials and tribulations that I've been through. And I know a lot of people can relate with it. And I think that's, why people some people are drawn to me it's just my authenticity and my for, forthrightness that this is what's going on and then i'm being real and trying to keep it real and people resonate with that yeah i was gonna say peach uh you know your realness is, is awesome and no I, uh, my hat's off to you we need we need uh, more people like you to be you know real and sincere honest and genuine and so no good for you good for you you know um so that's your dream though is to be on survivor right yeah how this whole creative process really started I mean well when I left when I left my ex-husband especially that's that's when it kind of kicked it off but and and I just was like I was going to pursue everything that I wanted to pursue and I was a dream of mine to always be on Survivor um and so when I left him I was like that's what I'm going to do and then I started paying attention to like well how do you get on Survivor you know um, and I noticed that typically they have really professional pictures. So I was like, well, let me try to start modeling. And I've always wanted to model or people told, told me that I should model. So I was like, well, I'll start with that. You know, I'm going to reach my, my big goal by doing the you know steps to getting there. And I started with modeling, but then modeling took off. <laughs> and then, you know, and then I opened up the, the teaching classes and then the agency and that, so things just continue to build. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah. Good. That's great to hear that though. You know, things are just they snowballed for you. And, um, you know, I have a friend, uh, he goes on this show, uh, uh, you may, I don't even know what it's called where they go to South, South America or something like that. And they have to, it's kind of like survivors, it's a very similar concept with it. They're out in the, you know, in the middle of nowhere in the woods and the jungle and they have to kind of stay alive or still alive, but they have to survive. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what's that the naked and afraid that's it that's it and yes that's like people always ask me that like oh, are you gonna be naked and afraid i'm like they don't pay enough <laughs> like okay if forget for survivor will pay me a million dollars to stay out there for like 30 days and i did a smaller version of it i did surviving real foot it was seven days long we did it in the woods it rained for four days they only gave us half a cup of rice and i was cool like it was i was like this is like the army is way worse than this. Like, so I just felt like I was like, so it really just made me feel like I could do real survivor a hundred percent and be okay with it. Um, and I don't know. I just feel like too, like just my whole life I've been like living survivor at this point, like the whole journey to getting to be on survivor has really fulfilled my need to be on survivor. Um, every step that I've taken to got there, it's just, I, sometimes I just feel like my life's a movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, are you going to continue to audition? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. For Survivor? Well, yeah, and not even, I mean, others, other shows too, but ultimately that's the goal. There, yeah. No, I hope you, you hit that soon. You will, you will. Well, the naked, you said it was called naked and what? Unafraid? <laughs> afraid that they had to get out there in the woods. I don't think they only pay them like $2,500 or something. And it's like three weeks, two or three weeks. Or, I don't know. It's just not worth it to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Now, I, I, yeah, that's the show. That's, for, you know, I think he was in uh, recently, I want to say Peru uh, or Ecuador or something like that. And uh, yeah, yeah. I see. He, I mean, he's married with kids and it's, it's, it's interesting, you know, how, that he goes down there, he participates and um, anyways, anyways, but uh, no, no, it, it would, um, so Survivor pays, you said, a million dollars if you win or if you just get on the show? If you win, yeah. Oh. But I, I, there's rumors that they pay otherwise for different, if you get on jury or something like that. But I, I couldn't tell you. 
so you get, you mentioned the modeling, obviously it, it kind of, uh, it took off for you. Um, is this, well, talk to us a little bit about it. How long have you been modeling now? I've been modeling for three years now. Three and years. Okay. I got, I got started. I did a board war photo shoot for my ex-husband. So he was leaving <laughs> for deployment to Afghan or what is it called? Korea. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I was going to do a board door photo shoot and give him a book, you know, hopefully he wouldn't cheat on me. <laughs> that was my, my goal. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. But, uh, so I, I gave him that and then he cheated on me while he was in Korea. So when he got back, I decided to do a divorce photo shoot instead <laughs> to like, help me get through that. Um, okay. cause that's what, I mean, honestly, that's what photography really started out for me was just a form, a form of therapy. And then it's just a creative outlet to really express yourself. Um, so I was mm-hmm. gonna be like, all right, well, I'm going to show him what he's missing out on and do some really great photos. And I submitted those photos to an agency and I got accepted and started doing classes through them. And again, kind of plateaued and decided to go off and do my own thing. So I started doing freelance and shot with like over 30 to 40 different photographers around the tri-state and just gained all of this knowledge. And a lot of girls were reaching out to me. So how do you model? How'd you get started? What do I do? And I had learned a lot of hard lessons in the freelance modeling world. So I really just wanted to help other girls navigate it the right way and try to jumpstart them and skip all the hard lessons that I learned. Um, so that was my goal through the, the mentorship program. Um, and it's been really uplifting to really just see, you know, all of them gain self-confidence and see what I see in them uh, and grow. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. I, um, you know, mod- people think that modeling, oh, it's so easy. You're just taking a picture. Yeah. Hey, well, how, how hard can that be, right? What, so- what are some of the things, Peach, that you could share, um, some of the challenges? And what is it, I mean, what does it take, you know, um, go ahead and dispel that right now. I mean, what, what does it take to become a model? What What are the challenges? What are some of the, you know, things that are difficult to learn, the the technicalities, the, the nuances, all that stuff? What can you, what would you tell those people? It's a lot. And I, I would just say the main things you get, what you, you get out of modeling, what you put in. It is, you know, you can't just show up and be pretty in front of a camera just because you're photogenic doesn't mean you can be a model. Um, It's really a lot of hard work. It takes a lot of money and investment in yourself. You you can't just, you know, going to all these shoots, I buy all of my own clothes. I pay to get my hair styled. I buy all of my own makeup. I do all my own makeup. I have to travel. There's gas money involved, hotel rooms. I think anybody can essentially be a model if they learn the right ways to do it. Um, you know, you, you don't, I think people have this cu- cookie cutter version of what they think a model should be in their heads, but that that's half the fun of, of doing the model mentorship program is that I take everyday girls, you know, who really don't really see themselves as models or ever really considered it or whatever, but I see that potential in them and just like really driving that into them like and building them up and then they get in there and they get in front of that camera and I teach them the right ways to hold their hands and their right angles and then they see themselves on the camera and then it just you just I love to see the progression of each class of how they get better and better, how they get more confident in themselves and then oh, they're on Facebook and taking all the pictures and they're just like my little children as I see them like grow. But anyways, as far as like the model, <laughs> you have to think about your facial expressions, your jaw, if you're sticking out your jaw a certain way, where your eyes are pointed, um, <laughs> you know, which way uh, your angles are, remembering being at 45 degree angle. Um, I think people, girls learn really fast when they are in my class of how much actually goes into it. And at first it can be kind of overwhelming to them because they're like, oh there's so many things to think about that you yeah. never normally would think or that it's physically demanding you're going to be sore after a photo shoot it's like doing yoga because you're you know <laughs> in all these ways and you know using muscles that you're not used to using um so it's definitely a lot more than just 
you know, taking a pretty picture. Yeah, no doubt. No, I, I uh, you know, growing up, uh, you know, when you're a kid, uh, you think, oh, look at it. I mean, all they have to do is, you know, those pretty girls, all they got to do is stand there, blah, blah, blah. And, um, I mean, little did I know. I mean, I was just a kid, you know. Uh, but, yeah, no, it's an art form for sure. It's uh, a form of expression. It's, it's uh, oh, I've seen, it's, yeah, it, it's work. A collaboration, too. I think that's half the fun of photo shoots for me is collaborating with the photographer and, like, all of, going all the way from back to the beginning stages of planning our photo shoot of, like, this is my inspiration, this is your inspiration, this is what I want to do, this is what I want to do, and then seeing it come to life and then what the end product is. I know what all went into it, and and it's it translates within music, too, and I, I've really had fun with that and seeing the correlation between the two of the collaboration of all the things, the engineer, the producer, the songwriter, you know, all the elements that go into it that just this song that you hear on the radio. Right, right. And, and who are some some of your influences as a model um, starting out when you were, I mean, or, or in general? I mean, who are who have some who have been some of your inspirations as a model? Um, I, it's funny was that I never was a huge like fan of any particular models. You know, I, I didn't like idolize anyone. Ruby Rose, I guess, is considered a model that I really uh, adore. I guess. I mean, I've always looked. I, I like her style. I love, she, you know, <laughs> I, I love Ruby Rose. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I grew up watching, you know, America's Next Top Model too. I don't know why I've never applied for that. But um, so, I mean, Tyra Banks obviously would, would be a, one up there too. Is that, is that show still exist? Uh, do they bring it back? I guess it, I'm, I'm not sure. If, if it does, I need to apply. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you should. Yeah, no doubt. And I remember watching that show. I don't know when it it's was. A lot probably... of the you know, same type of tips and stuff. It's a yeah. Movie. Watch it and you listen, you learn. You, you can do some stuff on there too. Exactly. I would learn a lot by why I would watch that show and be like, oh my gosh, this is interesting. Like you, you see like the behind the scenes or, you know, what it takes. And um, what do you think, what does it take then for you, Peach, to capture that, 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 that one picture, you know, what, 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 how do you capture that? What is it? What, what can you tell us about that? I love to tell stories with my pictures. I want you when with my pic, and I love, I just love that when, when people, it translates anything that I am trying to convey in my pictures, whether it be through my style or the location or whatever. And when people are telling me like, Oh, I can see the, you know, the fashion that or the emotion or whatever behind what you were trying to do I'm like yes like that's what I was trying to do and I love that that translates so you have to think about your body language the location that you're in the aesthetics to it I I think about all the small details in in whether it be my nails or my makeup down to making sure you know I ask for pictures of the location before I go um so that my my um, attire can match the environment um, just all those things and and getting into character and really committing to it uh, is you know modeling is just one off from acting it's like acting without words essentially um, so really getting in can, can t character and committing to it is essential yeah no doubt it's it's uh, you got to convey a message you know um, you have to look at it and know right when you look at it you know what what you're trying to do so that's what i aim to do every time yeah yeah nonverbal skills definitely come into play here right the nonverbal stuff and uh no it's interesting it's interesting and, and um if, ladies and gentlemen if you get a chance go check out uh official peach 513 on instagram you will be able to see a lot of her work a lot of uh amazing pictures um you've uh, you've posed in the nude it, it, um yeah I would... how, how's go ahead go ahead yeah, that's, I was going to talk about that too. That was something, it was, it's taboo, but, and when I first decided to do it, I was like really concerned about like what my friends and family were going to think or, you know, but it, it really is empowering to, to be able to put myself out there and to really just accept all of my flaws that's what my body is I don't really care what people think <laughs> I know who I am and what I'm about and um it, 
So nothing that anyone says about it. And, and really, I haven't had a whole a lot of negative things said about me for it. But even if it did, it wouldn't stop me. Um, and I love my body. And I love the images that I put out there. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it takes a lot of confidence to do that. No <laughs> doubt. You know, and uh, no, yeah, you, you posted some amazing, amazing pictures. And um, I yeah, think I you can to keep it classy, too, you know, just. Oh, no, of course. No, I was about to say you. you... Yeah. You have a variety of, of, of uh, your portfolio. Is that, is that correct terminology there? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, right? In your portfolio, you have a variety of, of, of different styles and, and uh, different types of photos and uh, different uh, poses and, and outfits. And um, uh, yeah, no, I think that's amazing. You're, you're very diverse. And, um, and it's interesting to kind of you, uh, when you look at your, correct me if I'm wrong, Peach. But when I look at your Instagram page and your photos and your, and your, your, on your feed, uh, you can kind of see the progression from like as a model, right? Yeah. You can kind of see, you know, the, the, the beginning stages and then how you kind of moved along and evolved. And, and, you're, and so it's kind of neat to see, you know? Yeah, I'm glad you acknowledged that because I went through a lot of branding with certain people with my Instagram and saying I should go this way or that way with it. And, or I thought about just, you know, taking all of it down and just putting up certain ones, my best ones. But I think that's kind of, just like you said, that it, it's really staying true to myself and really putting my whole journey out there as a model and that I wasn't always the best one. And not that I am, but I'm always learning. But like, I think a lot of girls look up to me in that way. I'm like, oh my God, you're so great. But I was like, listen, like it took me a while to get there. You know, like I never try to forget where I came from. Um, and I think my Instagram does tell that journey pretty well. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. It's uh, it's I I th- I get when I see your pictures and when you, um, I think you're at a point now where you're super confident and you you're kind of like kind of almost like, um, uh, you're you got a super handle on uh, and a firm grasp on, um, what you're trying to accomplish, what you're tr- the trying to convey. And, uh, no, it's, it's really, I, I get the sense that you're like, you have like, you know what you want, you know what direction you're going in. Um, you're, you've got a clear vision, you know, and you're, you're grinding, you're doing what you need to do. To do. Uh, but it's really great to see that. It's really uh, inspiring, your work ethic, um, your drive, ambition. Uh, where, does that, where does all that come from for you, Peach? Where, where does that stem from? You mentioned you, had a, you started working when you were 14. Mm-hmm. You know, but is is you come from that? Is your family like that? Hardworking family? Um, you come from a family of entrepreneurs? Tell us I, a little bit about that. Yeah, I I grew up. Uh, I'm my dad's only child, and I grew up with just my dad. Um, I saw my mom like every other weekend, but my dad essentially raised me as a single dad. Um, and he owned his own. He owns his own business. Um, he rents out different apartments and things. He. Anytime I wanted money, he would make me go clean one of the apartments or go paint it, trying to go and start doing stuff. I mean, uh, I went to like teen clubs or whatever when I was like 13 and you had to have like $15 to get in. That's all I remember. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you're okay. So you, you, you learned a work ethic early on then. Yeah. And I, I've always just been a hard worker. You know, I've, I've never respected like fast money. Uh, type of situation or people that don't work hard for their money so it's just been a a part of me forever as as long as I can remember (laughs) yeah yeah no doubt I I, you know I wish I would have learned that sooner myself Uh, I was always playing sports you know and uh, my first job was six when I was 16 I um, yeah I was 16 years old Uh, I was working at a donut shop so it was kind of fun I got fired (laughs) for for uh, giving my friends, um, letting my friends and, uh, you know, brothers and um, eat the donuts. You know, I was giving, I was passing out donuts like they were, like, you know, they were free. And we, I was hooking everybody up, you know, and anyways, but uh, no, no, but good for you. Too. Yeah, that's, that's, and so that's bad. I've had to learn. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's important to learn that early on, I think, you know, learning that, hey, if you want something in life, you got to earn it, you know, you got to, you got to work for it, you know, and uh, I, I think that's a great lesson to be learned early on for us, you know. And that, you know, not to be afraid of failure too. I think that's been a very huge success for me. It's just that 
I'm never afraid to try something once or to just, if I have an idea, you know, I, I also started a podcast um, two years ago, or it'd be a year ago that I had released my, my second episode um, now, but I have an idea and I, I decide I'm going to do it. Then I just, I get set on that until I accomplish it essentially. Um, and I don't really let anything hold me back or I'm just like, I'm, I'm going to do it. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. Good for you. Good for you. So I, I'm sorry. I'll find a way. Absolutely. Absolutely. So out of all the things that you do, and I, and I do want to talk about your podcast as well, Peach, but before uh, I want to ask you out of all the things that you do, you know, what, what is it that really, uh, do you have a favorite? Is there one that you're most passionate about? I say my main focus is music right now. Um, I think it's just a cultivation of all the other things that I've done essentially. And music has always been a part of my life in some type of way. My whole family is um, musically talented in some aspect or way. Um, I was the plug in high school. I was I made everybody's bootleg CDs. I was the one always on LimeWire downloading all the new music for everybody um, <laughs> watching the music videos and studying lyrics and printing all the lyrics out and memorizing them. Um, that's actually something that's been incorporated into my Instagram. All of my captions are usually lyrics from songs that I like. Um, oh, okay. That's just always, that's something that I've done. Um, so yeah, um, to see it all come together and, you know, my, to see my daughter running around singing my songs, um, or, and she's involved in music too, but, uh, it's, I don't know, it's fun and I enjoy it. Yeah, that's great. That's great. And, uh, so are you, um, I, I've seen some of your videos where you're on, you're performing, um, I, out there. Too. I love performing. <laughs> that's a whole other right. part of like to make the music, but then to be able to perform it is, um, I like to do, I've done karaoke, before I started making music, I was doing karaoke with my daughter and I, and my thing I do is I'll go to a bar by myself, like where nobody knows me and I'll get up there and sing until I'm like comfortable enough where everyone doesn't think I suck. <laughs> and, uh, but the first time I ever went karaoke, the one guy stopped me, he was like, you look like a superstar. And, and, uh, just the way I was dressed or something. And I just never will forget that anytime when I go to perform or something, that random guy, that, well, Jody, he knows who he is, but he was like, you look like a superstar. And um, my first open mic, I walked in and everybody asked me, are you performing tonight? Are you performing tonight? And I was just there by myself. So I don't know why they thought I was performing, but <laughs> they all thought I did. Um, and I really enjoyed it. The, the crowd was really great. Uh, and. The, again, the community is so supportive and it's such a vibe to be around all these creative people. No doubt. No doubt. Yeah. I've seen those videos. You're, 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 uh, I can tell you like, you enjoy performing. No, that's great. You know, um, now you, are you, <laughs> what's that? Is that I'm, I'm trying to get better. Yeah, no, no, I, I don't, I there's no doubt in my mind you will, you know, get to where you want to be. And now are you, do you rap or do you sing? Uh, do you both? What is your I guess uh, both. forte? I, you know, I love to do both. Um, I haven't made any as like essentially singing songs yet. Um, but just, I grew up with, I mean, I grew up on Gucci. I grew up on Jeezy and T.I. And um, so like mm. just when I write, or, you know, that part of me is just what comes out. And so I like want to be able to express that part of me first and see where, you know, the music kind of takes me, but I'm not letting anybody like box me in or say that I can't do this or I can't do that. I'm just going to probably try a little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good for you. No, <laughs> the sky's a limit. Pizza. The sky's a limit. Talk to, talk to us a little bit about your podcast. Um, I know you, you did three episodes. Um, it was, but four episodes yeah speaking your truth right it was called speaking your uh, truth untold stories of abuse right right and, and by the way i really loved your setup you had the, in your studio and um you know that was nice. that was nice really nice setup <laughs> you know that was um, joe strecker's studio so he hosts podcasts here in cincinnati i have to plug him in if you're looking in cincinnati to do podcasts 
He can oh. help record it. Um, and he helped me do it and at this really, uh, it was all his real nice studio. Um, and I just, you would pay him like monthly and he would help you out. Oh, okay, cool. Oh yeah, no, that was that was nice. Um, so you know, I, you only you did four episodes. Is there any chance that you would uh, maybe bring the podcast back, or are you just too busy at this point in time? Um, it's kind of a, a little. It's COVID happened, but like I was already kind of thinking about stopping it. Um, just because it was it took off a lot quicker than I thought it was going to take off. Um, I I think I underestimated the impact it was going to have. And I was just me running it. I mean, I had, I had someone else kind of co-hosting with it, but um, I had a lot of women reaching out to me for help um, and sending me like videos and pictures of their abuse. And, you know, I would became like this beacon of light for everyone. And I was still, you know, kind of going through my own thing. I was still getting my divorce. Um, so it, was, it became a lot to, to do while I was still trying to heal as well. Um, so I was planning on giving just like a pause on it, but now that I've, and then COVID happened. So it kind of just, it made me to give it a pause anyways. And then when I was trying to get back to it, I just realized I've really moved on from that part of my life. And I don't want to continue to give it energy and, um, because it just holds me back there. I've grown from it. You know, I, I'm, I don't feel that way anymore. So I'm, I think having the, the episodes on there are still helping. I'm, I literally just sent it to a woman today that was reaching out for help and messaged me. And I gave her some numbers and resources and, and she said they got some help. So it, it's still making a, a difference. And I, that makes me feel good. Absolutely. Well, oh, that's great. That's great. But yeah, it sounded like, uh, you know, it, it resonated with people and the, you had an audience move, going and um, yeah, I, I mean, but I'm glad to hear that you, you've kind of, you, you know, moved on from that, you know, from that part of your life and stuff like that. And, but good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Like you said, you know, somebody reached out to you. There pe- people are still reaching out to you and it's made, it's make, you're making a difference, even though you're not actively, you know, doing the podcast, but. Um, all the um, material still on there. The Facebook page is still up to, um, and I think people too know that if they ever help, they can always reach out to me too. But yeah, yeah, no. But, but I mean, how do you find time to to do everything? Do you do you, you kind of have a, a strict schedule that you stick to? Do you um, you know how does that work? How do you manage I think all that's that? Like the biggest question that I get sometimes from people is, when do you sleep? <laughs> <laughs> um, when know. do you sleep? <laughs> I feel like I've just become this master um multitasker I don't know or I just I like to plan things out and I've always been a planner so I mean essentially I plan my years out or my, like six months out um I try to to keep a schedule out and that's just how I've, I've always lived my life and it I'm good at multitasking but I've now hit this point where I I'm like a cap <laughs> I'm not starting any more businesses. <laughs> like I'm just gonna monetize the ones that I have, and I'm I'm really trying to you know just get my brand off the ground this year. I've you know organically grown everything, and I think I've taken it as far as I can take it. So I'm like really trying to put myself out there and, and see that I'm like a dope investment. No doubt, no doubt. Uh, no, it's impressive, Peach. But that's what hustlers do. You know, that's what they do. They they balance, they just make it happen, you know, and however you got to do it. Um, no boys or no distractions. That's been a, a key to my success right now is no distractions because I've, I've really let men get in the way of my goals before. I'm just like, not this year. <laughs> I'm no, like, still I'm like where I want to be. All that other stuff can wait. Good for you. No, no, I know. I know. Like I said, sky's the limit for you and, who are some of your greatest influences and inspirations in, in life in general, Peach? Oh, that's a good question. Um, my dad, for sure. I mean, mm. I've just seen him work so hard my entire life. A lot of my morals and who I am and how I grew up is all thanks to him. So 
Um, and I can count on him for anything if I ever need help, like with my house or anything with mm -hmm. watching my daughter, like my, my network and my team here is why I am where I am today. Um, all the moms that uh, my friends, moms that have helped me with Sydney, um, because it's just me, my ex doesn't live here. He lives in another state. So mm -hmm. for me to do anything, I have to have a babysitter. So thank God for my network. And I, and I always try to shout them out. No doubt. No doubt. It's uh falling on a budget over here, working hard, <laughs> trying to make some shake. <laughs> oh, you are, you are, you are peach and you're an inspiration. Um, you know, when I, I admire your work ethic, I admire everything that you do. And as an artist, as a creator, um, I, I, you know, I, I admire you because, um, you know, it's not easy. It's just not easy being a single, I was a single parent myself, um, you know, and I, yeah, I, it was, uh, it can be challenging. Absolutely. And to see what, what you know, the heights that you're reaching and, and I know you're, you're only scratching the surface. Uh, it's impressive. It's impressive. You know, I feel it. As I said, I'm real no close. Doubt. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no doubt. No doubt. It, uh, you know, what, what, so what are some of your, I mean, we've kind of touched on it already. Where do you see yourself in, in the short term? And then, uh, may, and then maybe three to five years, what are some of your short term and then long term goals? Um, my short term goals, um, are to really build up my, my modeling classes and to get my agency off the ground, get some, some higher paying clients, um, and, and see that I have a, a great roster of some beautiful models that I've hand taught, um, and that are reliable. Um, so really just pouring some energy into that and building it up and, and hiring some, some people to my team. I'm really trying to build a team this year. Like this, I said, I can't do it all myself. So I'm just cultivating that, manifesting all the right people fall into place for me to really help me grow. Um, and to get on Survivor or some successful sponsorship, um, you know, and, or get my music off the ground and have a successful EP release. Um, I'm hoping to release on my birthday uh, if everything goes as planned. So, awesome. and then 10 years from now, I mean, I just want to be successful and my daughter to be proud of me, you know. No, I, I can't wait to see where you um, continue to, to I, I can't wait to see where you, you know, your progress and your evolution. Uh, I'm going to continue to follow you, Peach. Um, where can the people follow you? Okay, tell us, uh, we'll go ahead and plug uh, where, where they can follow you. We're going to right. see you. That's, that's half this job is keeping up with all these platforms. It's yeah. At, at the official Peach 513 on Instagram. 513 Peach on Clubhouse. If you're not tapped in on Clubhouse, you need to get in there before yep. everybody does um facebook is at the official peach 513 and uh yeah oh youtube you can find me on youtube you can go check out my um audition videos um a couple of my songs are on there too awesome awesome there you have it um peach i want to thank you so much for coming on you are welcome back at any time and let's do this again okay yeah, for part two for my birthday when my ep comes out when's your birthday may 9th there it is, May 9th. Oh, okay, that's my nephew's birthday. I can't, I won't forget that. Uh, we'll get you back on and then maybe promote that EP. And that's going to be, uh, so look out for that, everyone. Look out for that. I, again, I can't thank you enough for taking the time to be here. Uh, we're going to do this again. And um, go follow Peach, everyone. Go follow. You just heard her, um, her usernames and her handles on all her uh, social media um pages and her social media platform so uh once again ladies and gentlemen um peach thank you once again for being here and um on the debut episode of profile pot tv on the social nostra network ladies and gentlemen don't forget to follow us at profile pot tv on instagram uh and uh twitter and also i uh, just now on clubhouse thanks to peach shout out to you uh, for inviting me on there uh, i'm on clubhouse now at uh, at profile pod tv so i'm excited about that lots of stiff, lots of great stuff going on here already this year for um for me personally and uh you know i'm going to continue to bring on amazing guests as like peach 
And uh, next week we will be back um, for another uh, artist, a uh, musical uh, musician, another musician. And so we got some great stuff coming up here. Stay tuned, everybody. Stay tuned. Don't forget to follow us uh, on um, subscribe to Profile Pod TV at Profile Pod TV uh, and at Social Nostra as well. So follow us at Social Nostra uh, on Instagram as well. So um, you know, like, like I said, everything's uh, we're going to be lot, lots of great content forthcoming so stay tuned everybody uh for peach the official peach 513 i'm double a and um we will be back next week at the same time same channel now on the social nostra network so peach you take care and everybody don't forget always remember to take it easy